As an educator, it's my great honor and privilege to be the MC for the program this morning, celebrating the opening of the Kingwood Branch Library. You know, as an educator, not only our schools and colleges, but also libraries are very near and dear to what we do. They open up doors for all of our constituents in one way or another. They also, I remember hearing a superintendent once say that literacy is a civil rights issue. So between what we do in our colleges, our schools, and our libraries, we really serve an important function. So this will be a wonderful opportunity for the community. Also, you should know that we have partnerships that really allow us to offer our constituents just a broad array of all kinds of resources. We have partnerships between the city library system, the county library system, and the Lone, Car Lone Star College District system. So by having a card in any one of these institutions, you can check out and utilize all kinds of materials. Actually, I'm told with our college system and our county libraries, we have at least a thousand transactions occurring back and forth between those institutions. So this really is a, a wonderful day to celebrate another opening of a library that will serve our community It's well. my pleasure to introduce our esteemed mayor, Bill White. We gather to celebrate the beginning of yet another part of this community that will endure and make Kingwood the special place that it is. This facility will serve the residents of this great community and uh, people, commissioner, well outside of Kingwood because of its quality, because of its size. Uh, this is a special project. This library that we have, the existing Kingwood Library, already has a circulation of over half a million different, you know, books and uh, records and and <coughs> items every year, which makes it one of the most utilized libraries in the entire region. That's a testament, I think, to the strong parents, to the inquiring young minds, to the seniors who keep the razor sharp, who use this library as a not only a resource, but also as a community gathering center. One of the special things about Kingwood that I think communities throughout this region can learn from is how people from all different backgrounds can come together and have a great sense of neighborhood and sense of place. I know when newcomers come to town and are looking for houses and I ask what they're interested in, you wouldn't believe how many people I refer to Kingwood, including quite a few of our department heads, Judge Emmett, who have chosen when they move here to make this their great home. We know within this community and throughout many places of our city that there's a neighborhood and a community is made up of more than just houses and retail strip centers. The heart of a feeling of community are those public places like schools and libraries in places of worship. We're very blessed within this city and within this county and in Kingwood in particular to have magnificent facilities in all of those categories. And I applaud the citizens who've done such a great job at being an advocate to make sure that as Kingwood is flourished, we haven't less lost that sense of community and sense of place and pride in our public facilities. You know, this is going to be uh, one of the most ambitious projects that the Houston Public Library System has undertaken. A 30,000 square foot library is far larger than what I guess you'd call the standard library, uh, far larger. We experimented that uh, under Eddie Wiseman's leadership, and let me commend Eddie too. I don't think we would have been standing on this particular site had it not been uh, for Addy uh, pressing for the acquisition <coughs> of some land. And there will be others who I acknowledge and who I thank, but her in particular, who's familiar with the collaboration we did, Commissioner and Judge Emmett, with the Clear Lake Library, which has been a real shining example of what could be done when the city and county overcome uh, the stuff within our various legal departments. It's really not, you know, 
could I say this? People ask us, ask stuff from time to time, and they think that the elected officials sometimes have problems getting along or getting things done. Probably is, you know, three quarters of the time the elected officials are trying to do it, but some lawyer says, oh, you can't do that. And uh, we were able to overcome some of those hurdles in doing this uh, great project. The total financial commitment by the citizens of Houston our taxpayers and the TERS, when you add up those things, is some um, $8.2 million. That includes land, that includes design. Most of it, of course, is the construction. We're blessed to have an excellent contractor whose name you see and people within our building services department, led by Isa Dadouche, who contribute so much to that. This will be done. I, I do get monthly reports of the construction schedules on projects such as this and I want to tell you uh, that under ESA's leadership it's rare that we do not finish a building on time or before the scheduled time. We can't control the weather as Emmett and I can tell you any amount, you know, <laughs> as we can be test, uh, testified to, but uh, short of hurricanes and uh, extraordinary amounts of inclement weather, then we will a year from now be standing by the groundbreaking for a magnificent new public facility. Hats off to the library professionals in Houston and Harris County that figured out a way to work together in order to do this. Thank you for the dedication and commitment by Harris County to provide the staffing for this great facility once it's opened. Uh, it will be incumbent on all of us, and in particular the citizens of this community, to hold accountable those of us who come after, uh, some of us who are elected officials today, including our council members here, my friends and colleagues, Peter Brown and Mike Sullivan, and the, those on Commissioner's Court, the mayors, county judges, remind us that we both work for, we all work for the same people within this community and that we ought to figure out efficient ways to get things done. Now, I'm going to plant one other seed for you to think about. I like to run government like a business, you know, a high-performance business with people accountable. In business, if you have two divisions having the same product line covering the same geographic territory, you try to get common overhead to economize on the expense, right? Anybody here in business? That's what we're doing here by this example today and trying to set examples all throughout this great city of what could occur if we tried to get the maximum value for the taxpayers' dollars. Uh, I want to acknowledge and thank the officials in Harris County and my colleagues on city council for supporting this innovative project. And I want to say to all the citizens of Kingwood, um, vindicate us in our judgment for making this investment. I think except for the central library, it will be the largest investment that we've made in some five years in, a, in the largest investment in a neighborhood library facility. Vindicate that judgment by making sure that all members of this community know that reading is important, uh, reading for people of all ages, and support of the public library uh, is an important part of that commitment. Uh, thank you all that have made uh, this happen, and I will say uh, another special thanks to for someone who helped facilitate communication and overcome some obstacles, who's the director of our parks department, uh, Joe Turner, who's constantly, Joe, now let me remind you, <coughs> You are a, a, a citizen of Houston first, but boy, anything involving Kingwood, Turner is all over. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sullivan, you have, uh, I mean, you're, there can only be one council member from Kingwood at a time, but between Joe Turner and Andy Icken, who uh, supervised the company that built Kingwood, who now works, and he now works within the city, I got to say, Kingwood really has infiltrated city government pretty darn well. Thank you all very much.